I just ordered this from the competition. I'm not surprised that they just leave it at the door like this. But here at Promiva, we're going to be with you every step of the way, which is why I want to teach you how to enroll your Chromebook into your domain. Come on. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you, you purchase from us here at Promevo because we give you things like our free support. You get our live help desk and you get me too. But more importantly, you get all these videos to help you if you're more of the self-starting type. You'll get all of this and more for free with your purchase from us here at Promevo. Now, this video will teach you how to easily enroll up to 100 devices, but if you're looking to deploy more than 100 devices, check out the link that I provided in the additional information section of this video for your process. Okay, moving on. First, we've got to do the obvious. Get your Chromebook out of the box and grab your charger. Now, often these chargers are in two pieces. There's one cable that connects to the Chromebook and one that plugs into the outlet, so make sure that you've got both connected. Then, hit the power button. This will quickly bring you to the welcome screen. Now, regardless if you're trying to enroll this in your domain or if you're just planning to use this device normally, go ahead and follow the on-screen prompts to set up your network connection and so on. So if you're looking to just use this as a normal device, just sign in with your Google account information and you're good to go. If you've purchased Chrome management licenses and you want to enroll this device so that you can manage the users and device policies on this device, don't sign in yet. Instead, press Control Alt E. This will take you to the enrollment screen. If you're a super admin or your account has device enrollment capabilities, you can enroll Chromebooks in your domain so that you can manage the device. So just log in with your G Suite admin account. But remember, you cannot enroll any devices until you get your welcome letter from Google. Upon clicking next, you'll see a short enrollment screen and then receive a confirmation message that the device has been successfully enrolled. This will bring you back to the start. Then, you'll go ahead and sign in using your account for that domain. Once you've enrolled a device, all of the policies that you've configured in the admin console will be automatically applied. If you'd like to change or add any, you can access the device here in the admin console. All right, now that you're all enrolled, go ahead and open your browser, head over to Promevo TV, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click that little bell guide too so you get notifications for our new videos. After doing that, I want to leave you with one more tip. Even though your Chromebook will likely almost always be in an area of internet connectivity, I highly recommend preparing your Chromebook for offline usage. If you click this link in the additional information section of this video, it will take you to a support page listing some of the activities you can perform offline and how to perform them. And if that's not enough, I will actually address this in detail in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for shopping with Promevo.